So we have finally figured out what engine we're going to be swapping into the RFC. So let's get right into it, guys. So yeah, I did just get back from my trip uh, out in for five days. I took my rig here. It's super muddy and dirty and whatnot. Uh, I wish I had the RF RFZ the whole time. I wish I had the bike with me because there's lots of trails and stuff that look really fun to go ride. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw in some of those clips right now uh, from our trip. And hope you guys enjoy. And then we'll hop back in and we'll talk some more about the uh, engine stuff. Uh, for the RFC and what we're going to swap in. exactly what we're gonna swap in we're gonna choose the 150 cc it's just the perfect I think swap for the bike um, and the 125 cc it's just out of stock otherwise I probably uh, maybe I'd buy the, actually now that I think about that the one for if you're interested in looking at a swap the 140 cc uh, engine that you can buy is the exact same price for whatever reason like they're both 499 the 125 cc and the 140 cc are both the exact same price on Apollo's website so you can like up upgrade to the 140 cc engine and it's no more expensive than the 125 cc so i was going to do that uh but the 140s out as well they don't have the 125 or the 140 all they have is the 160 uh sorry the 150 the 160 and the 190 in stock so the 150 i think is just going to be like the winner so i'm hoping in the timeline of maybe two weeks or so maybe hopefully no more than three weeks we could have the 150 uh, CC hopefully in the shop here uh, and then we can start these process of swapping the engine in and doing all that fun stuff and then I also have another upgrade where I should be hopefully one of my buddies here he's gonna be selling me a set of um, uh, larger tires like a set of 17 14 inch tires uh, so I can upgrade to a bit bigger of a rolling diameter tire so it's a bit easier on some of like those really gnarly trails uh, where the rocks are like huge and you, your, your little tiny tires just can barely make it so I think that'll be a huge upgrade so that'll be next hopefully we can have this engine in here sooner than later because I'm I'm just I'm itching to just go out and ride already like it's just killing me I like we went on this trip I had the truck and it's just like it's not the same we're like kind of cruising just slowly along the roads I'm just oh I can't I got the itch I got the itch to go ride boys so if you guys want to support us some more too uh, there is the stickers down below our t-shirts and all that good stuff uh, the zip tie mechanic shirts for, like one of our best sellers so if you guys want to check that out uh, there's lots of different I got over 50 designs of stickers and shirts and stuff down below so make sure you guys click the link down below support your boy so we can get this 150 cc swapped in because let's be real here i'm not rich i ain't got I, I work for all of my stuff i work for this bike i had it like three months and the freaking engine blew up so like the struggle's real right now i'm trying to like put every piece of like side money i have so i can buy this freaking engine so that's that's the game plan so maybe if you guys want to see like some maybe do some like custom color combo or like maybe some kind of theme you guys may maybe want to see me like paint on the bike or something or like maybe with the graphics kit i can go over and uh i'll grab some of these like the red plastics that we got down here maybe we can go ahead and pull the decals up and uh we'll get some paint i don't know i've always wanted to like do this there's this yellow and blue uh it's called like the scoot fast rxf i'll maybe i'll throw an image up on the screen right now but man, this bike, it just, to me, it just, oh my god, it looks so freaking good in that yellow-blue combo on it. So I've been, I've been kind of, I've been thinking about it, like maybe I'll go ahead and try and peel off all the stickers that are up on, like, on the fender, up here, and then, like, up on the back rear fender as well. Peel the stickers off, and then maybe try and, like, scuff it up, paint it, I was thinking of painting it yellow, and, uh, and then trying to like relay the stickers back on it but i mean i don't know how to do that but that's kind of what i've been thinking so if you guys maybe want to see like a custom painted frame and like color and vinyls and do like the whole thing while we're in there doing the engine swap we might as well make it like fully custom i guess right uh, and if you guys want to see some of the mods so that i know there is a couple mods when you do uh 150 cc swap or like anything bigger than the 140 cc i know there is a couple uh, common mods that people would like to do like i've heard of the uh, the shift star mod so this is your shift star i'm sure if you guys have watched the channel you know what i'm talking about but this is your shift star here and there, apparently there's a mod for this that has to do with this arm and the roller so that this doesn't get bound so you don't have like false neutrals and then there's also the shift starter chain 
uh, so when the starter chain breaks uh, it can actually kind of like come back up and hit into the casing itself and crack your engine casing and then when you crack your engine casing you can't hold oil anymore in there and then you're just your motor's toast pretty much because well it's the casing you need the casing uh, so that's just another mod that I know people do uh, and then obviously you need uh, an upgraded carburetor which luckily we already have the VM24 so we got the carburetor uh, but if you guys want to see all the upgrades like those sh shift R mod and the starter chain mod uh, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a comment down below and we can make that happen if you guys want to see some carb videos on upgrading your carb or maybe you guys want to see how to tune your carb or maybe you guys want to see some riding videos or maybe you guys want to know some of the common issues that happens on these pit bikes uh, we got all those videos I can leave links down below in the descriptions uh, you can click any of the cards or you see on screen make sure you guys like the video leave a comment down below and subscribe for some more awesome content like this till next time I will see you guys uh, and hopefully we will have the engine to swap in all right, and just like that, we've now made it to our spot for the night. Uh, we just found a little tiny spot. We're on some like dirt road, and I've just parked the truck up here. We're gonna camp here for the night. If you guys don't know already, you're along for the journey. This is day one of our eight day trip. We're doing an off-road adventure trip uh, with my truck. I wish I had the dirt bike, of course. I wish I had the dirt bike, but of course you guys seen the last video where it blew up and I've blown the transmission. So I don't have a dirt bike, unfortunately. So if you guys are here for the dirt bike footage or content, I'm really sorry about that. I, I promise you, as soon as I can, I will have uh, the dirt bike up and running so we can go out and rip the trails again uh but for for this trip unfortunately yet fortunately we're gonna enjoy it make the best of it uh, i got eight days of off-roading and trips in the truck to do so i'm super looking forward to that and i hope you guys can enjoy the venture so come along and join us for the adventure uh, i'm just gonna pull up the camera whenever we're we've got something a little bit interesting i feel like sharing with you guys so here we are we're at our little camp spot there's a river up behind me here and uh yeah so we're just gonna enjoy the night make some dinner here i got some uh, chicken taquitos to make or chicken quesadillas to make up so we're gonna get to cooking and uh yeah we'll see you guys probably tomorrow we're gonna be going over to gold bridge we're looking to do some gold panning it's our gold mine so uh it's an old abandoned gold mine town so we're gonna go ahead and i got my gold panning stuff we're gonna try and do some gold panning maybe i'll film that tomorrow as well and see if we can find any gold because finding gold's cool you know so anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow uh in the morning it's day number three here uh we're at spot number four i think we're in this super cool valley uh you just kind of like drove down from in the trees over there and you would follow this kind of like trail down along the shoreline and it kind of takes you through this like sandy whoops and just stuff and uh, it's an absolutely spectacular spot so we're just here cruising through the day kind of through gold bridge and uh yeah we're just enjoying the day so Had a nice beautiful shower off the rig which is nice we got these shower bags up on the rig so there's just a, a detachable right here and boom you got water running you can have a shower so we had a nice beautiful shower this morning some bacon eggs and toast made that all up on the stove and now we're just here kind of chillaxing at the river then we're going to be going up another few hours into maple ridge park which is like a desert inside of canada which like if you guys know canada there's not really any deserts so that'd be really cool kind of going up into the woods into the sand i'm going to try and find a cactus and the plan is to try and like dig out a cactus and put it and bring it back home so like that's my plan so that's where we're gonna be heading up to next today uh, and then there's a really cool viewpoint up at the top as well uh, so we're gonna head up it's called uh, jesmond road and high bar if you guys ever want to check it out but that's where we headed today so join us along for the adventure peace Well guys, we're now at the top of Jasmine Road. It's this huge lookout. As you can see, there's like the valley behind me. Put up in the Forerunner. It's super dope, super crazy view. The valley, you can see even like where they'd gone through and like cut the land out. It's pretty gnarly. Pretty crazy little trail you come up. You can see it down below. Down there, you can see the trail that we drove up and it's just like this super shaly, loose rock you drive up. But it's super cool, super gnarly view up here too. Like beautiful all the way around. When you're up with the loco out the fire cabin, and it's up top there. It's fucking so dope. And you can see all around you, which is absolutely gnarly. So yeah, anyways, we're probably gonna head down somewhere down there and uh, pick a camp spot out, find a nice spot for the night. And then there's some lakes on the other side of this cabin that we'll go down to, big bar lake, little bar lake, and uh, go there and chill out in the lake.
do some fishing maybe. Anyways, see you later.